business is damn sure about to pick up in the WWE, the brash and brazen Sean's View Entertainment. I will not be overtaken to keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. I welcome your comments, your opinions, your likes, your satisfaction, whatever it may be. The thumbs up, the thumbs down. Sean's View Entertainment is here because it's going to be prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Viewers and subscribers with the latest backstage rumors, news, updates, and developments in the world wrestling entertainment. And this one is absolutely huge and off the damn chain. Now, we all saw Kane return last night on Monday Night Raw. Well, as seen on Wrestling Inc. First of all, let's get to the top story, though. Well, there's a lot of top stories, but it's hard to say which one's the first one. Bray Wyatt was not at Raw this week. He was not at Raw last week. There is a lot of conflicting rumors and speculation about Bray Wyatt's status and future in the WWE saying that he may be finished and he may be done with World Wrestling Entertainment. Viewers and subscribers, no word yet on storyline details behind Kane's return, but they will likely go with this being payback for Reigns retiring The Undertaker at WrestleMania 33. Now, here's where things get a little bit misconstrued. Here's where things get a little bit blurry. Here's where the storylines and creative comes up with something, well, a little bit, well, like I said, misconstrued. There's already speculation on Kane's return, setting up a potential Survivor Series return for The Undertaker, the dead man, possibly teaming with The Shield to go on the opposing team of Kane and whoever will be on Kane's side, which will be a bunch of heels. But why would Roman Reigns, you know, he defeats The Undertaker, he retires The Undertaker, then all of a sudden Kane comes back to avenge the loss, and then all of a sudden The Undertaker goes and teams with The Shield, who Roman Reigns retired him. That is a little messed up. I, I'm a little bit like, whoa, wait a minute, let back up, okay? But, you know, um, let's... I mean, it would make for a compelling and intriguing match because The Undertaker returning. The Undertaker once again on WWE television. The Undertaker at Survivor Series where he debuted. And yes, that would make sense from a history logic standpoint as The Undertaker has significance in, you know, history at the Survivor Series. And I understand that and I get that. And, you know, to see The Undertaker and Kane again all these years later and, and they're well into their, in their, in their 50s and they're main eventing a, a pay-per-view, that is different. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, um, as I'm trying to wrap my hand around Kane returning and The Undertaker and Kane being on a po opposite teams and then The Undertaker teaming with The Shield, um, you know, trying to understand this and then Bray Wyatt's future and uh, his longevity in the WWE. And can you really blame him? Because I mean, creative has really ruined Bray Wyatt. Creative has really destroyed Bray Wyatt's image. And Bo Dallas wasn't even there. So this is very true and telling. And we know that Bro Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas are definitely, you know, there's obviously, you know, family there, and there's a bond there, and the fact that they're not showing up, the fact that they're not there, um, there seems to be family issues, family ties within the WWE, and there's a lot of worry and a lot of conflict about Bray Wyatt. So viewers and subscribers, your comments and your opinions on this salacious Survivor Series update, and would The Undertaker, maybe The Undertaker will apparent, you know, apparently return at TLC, all that and much more from the Brash Show Andrew Day, where we settle the score. Brash and Brazen, I will not be overtaken because I am the face that books the place. And if it's not Brash, it's trash. More to come. Stay tuned.